I genuinely don't remember what I was doing previously, because it's been a week. I do have my streams archived, so I could have checked, but I didn't. The fact that I'm here in the arena means I assume I was doing arena things. I think we completed the DLC and I chose the cowardly path that resulted in me skipping a boss fight. Other than that, I've got three, no, four more pins to find, the other half of this one to find, which I suspect I'll find behind the ghost of the dead king, uh, which I think I need a fully upgraded mind blade, dream sword, whatever it is. Dream nail, yeah, that's what they call them, uh, in order to access. And to do that, I'm going to have to go fight a bunch of ghosts, but I fought almost all of the ghosts already, which means I have to refight certain bosses, which are repeatable bosses that will give you dream points when you kill them. However, before I do that, I have a deep and lasting desire to finally actually finish. Oh, hold up a second. To finally actually finish. Oh, we're good. It's fine. Uh, this, the tournament arc minigame, the Colosseum mode, the arena battle mode, which every game likes to have. I wonder if it was literally like a, I don't know, like a Kickstarter goal or something to put it in. Hopefully, I will remember how to play this game. The fast attack ability remains incredibly useful. Also, I'm probably going to be a bit quiet because I tend to focus when I'm in the tough fights, which this ostensibly is. Yeah, I'm going to need to get my brain on. Proceeds to fail to do that. You know what would be smart? You know what I bet professionals do? To have done a little, little practice. So I've loaded it up and done one of the previous ones, just to just to get the reflexes back. Remember, a very important fact about exploding bats is that you can just leave. Not a lot of people know this about exploding bats. Time to take it seriously. And if I screw up and die again, I'm gonna go do adventuring somewhere else. And then come back after we take a, a brisk little soak in the um, Greek sauna they have down here, complete with large, presumably hairy under the armor, man enjoying it quietly. never get tired of abusing the the Dragon Ball Z supersonic fly fast move. switch up my uh, switch up my pin abilities my whatever they're called traits that ain't it notches notches is what you put them in
surprised that there isn't an ability that lets you uh, recover hit points when you hit certain enemies. Or just on melee strikes. That's such a common ability to grant in this kind of game. We definitely have good synergy with the uh, upgraded attack speed that I am re really finding very useful. Not entirely sure why I started to sound like a 150cc engine rev revving up just there. Fun fact, I don't like the spiders. I suppose most- lots of people don't like spiders. I especially don't like spiders when they are... These ones. These ones specifically. Don't care for them. I suppose as a human being, you don't run into a lot of spiders bigger than you are. As a small bug, our good friend, the unnamed knight, is much more likely to run into spiders bigger than, than he is. Or it, maybe. I'm not sure about bug gender. If you want some time to heal up peacefully, I found this out ages ago. If you want some time to heal up peacefully in these challenges, if you can trap someone somewhere, it gives you loads of time. <laughs> I've also figured out why some of my muscle memory was off, and it's because I'm using my broken export controller that doesn't fucking work right. Which is a classic excuse for when your friends beat you at Mario Kart. they're not technically spiders either way because they have uh, four legs. Although I suppose they could be using them in pairs of two. I'm not sure why they would but then I'm not a spider. Their motives and methods are inscrutable to me. know their king is dead. Wow, what happened to me? It's only been a week. I beat the final boss last time, didn't I? Why am I having trouble today?
I wonder if those ones lasted to kill one of the new ones coming in. I think the I think the upgraded attack speed is the single most impactful or most noticeably impactful of all of the various upgrade abilities I've found so far. Being able to kill something in literally half the time really makes a, a big impact. Oh, it's probably not... Uh, I'm not sure I... I think I equipped the attack speed boost for the first time at the end of last stream, but I've just realised we also got the final damage upgrade to the sword. That's probably... probably also responsible for why I feel so much more killy. You know, generally speaking. That probably makes a lot of sense. Ah, please don't kill me. Alright, I'm gonna have one more try and then I'm gonna go do something else. Although, aside from go refight bosses I already fought, I'm not really sure what else there is to do. I just desperately need to get that last, like, 600? 800? I'm not sure how much more uh, magic mind dream points I need. Uh oh yeah no that was a that was a that was a car going past my uh orbital satellite on which I dwell Uh right Where's my goddamn See I need I used to have the ability to just click these guys and make them go away why can I not do that anymore why? <laughs> Twitch, why did you remove that functionality? That's so bizarre. That's really weird. I used to just be able to... Com why can't I delete that? Am I not- am I no longer an admin on my own chat? That doesn't make sense. Aha, there we go. Why- why would they toggle that off by default? Why would they remove that? There we go. That's so strange. It didn't used to do that. It used to just be- they used to just be the ability to do that all of the time. I didn't have to fuck about enabling the ability to remove spam bots from my channel. I feel like if I die here, I get to have another try. It's only fair. <laughs> Coliseum of giggling idiots. The Coliseum of relentless chuckle farmers. The Coliseum of blistering buffoons.
the Colosseum of guys who wouldn't be so fucking smug if they came down here and tried it for themselves. How is, I always get blindsided by this bit. Every single time I get carpet bombed. Pit of desperation, call that might let's not. Hardwood bombed, I'll admit I don't get. Different flooring material to what? <laughs> I'm so confused. But fighting giant spiders will do that. Ah, okay, right. Okay, no, I get you now. W well done. Good, good, good job. Joke secured. These little, these little three-way firing guys, they are the single toughest enemy in the entire game, I swear to god. I struggle with them everywhere. Because they're one of the only enemies that does a directed attack, uh, a directed range attack, instead of just firing in random directions or whatever weird consistent directions. Just playing tennis at this point. My face. I bet playing squash has different connotations for insect people. take my hoodie off because I am overheating. I chose to mute my mic while I did so because my new fancy oversized hoodie that my friend got me is both very warm and extremely static electricity -y. Uh, I did not wish to have you all assaulted with a, a series of loud cracks and me saying, ow, what the fuck? Which has happened multiple times now. Thanks for sharing your milky juices, my good dude. Oh, I was going to go do something else up at this point. Whoops, too late now. The smartest tactic for me to pursue would be for me to stop getting hit so often. It might also be wise if I hit them more often as well.
They can also fly a lot faster than I can catch up with them, which is inconvenient to say the least. I've noticed that these things, they, they attack in four directions at once when they attack. Except when they're at the top of the screen. If, they're, if their first couple of attack blobs go off the top of the screen, they, uh... They all vanish. For some reason. Oh, I remember this time. Ha! Just in time. Managed to avoid uh, the relentless bombing. Haha, <laughs> get area control managed, idiot. Ah, my hubris! Is it Mantis time now? I think it's Mantis time after these guys. These three musketeers. Or whatever the in clever insect pun we can get for musketeers. Well, I can't think of any... Uh, any words that sound like musket that are bug words. Must be some. I don't like you guys. Oh god, sorcerers as well, huh? Masters, masters of the white goo magic. Oh hey! Oh fantastic! I got this asshole to spawn in a wall. I've literally never seen that happen. New exploit discovered, although I'm sure other people already know about it. That's amazing! A real organic, like, naturally found bizarre bug. Well, it's not that bizarre. <laughs> I guess I found a bug. <laughs> uh, the pun's right there. I 
do resent getting tennis balled around a bit, though. Oh shit, didn't get this one stuck in the wall. Whoa. Getting pinballed again. Oh, not these guys. These guys will be like, hey, it's me, Spitting Jimmy, the guy who spits. And this one will be like, hey, it's me, a boss you fought ages ago. These guys have an awful lot, lot of the uh, mind-infected, parasitic... Uh-oh. Okay, we're just playing a different game now. Okay, cool. Anyway, these guys have a lot of the mind-infected, like, parasitic dudes around, which I think is sus. I can't fly like you guys. Oh, this is bullshit. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming back to this one later. Can't expect me to fight mantises and climb a wall at the same time. It's not like they do that. Oh wait. It's not like their whole country it's not like their whole culture is built around climbing walls and fighting people at the same time. I also I'm told. Alright, th th thanks for the suspicious white fluids that you seem to be basting yourself in. Where, where should I even go? Let's see. Uh, I did look up a few of the repeatable bosses, because not all of them are repeatable, and I didn't want to revisit every boss room in the entire game, because I can't remember where any of them are, because I have memory problems. There's, the very first boss in the game is repeatable, though, so I'm going to go fight him, because he's the first boss in the game, so I imagine that the repeat version of him is still a pushover, because that's logic, and that's what we use on this channel. We use our analytical brains. What the fuck am I doing? Right, Colosseum. Uh, west, then up. Then... I guess just west again. That's probably the easiest route to get there. Oh no, hang on. I could take a shortcut from here. Yeah, that'll, that's probably the best option. Such a sad existence those creatures lead, to dwell and explode at the momentary passing of a total stranger at 65 miles an hour. I imagine it's what, like, I imagine it's what, like, uh, living next to an American inter interstate must be, must be like. Did I go the wrong way already? Am I already lost? I for real might be. I forgot to I forgot to stick my I know where I am pin back on my thing. So I now don't know where I am. Oh, I know where I am. This is fine. I'm here. Oh, it says, Curse to those who turn against the king. This is the icon of the, the king's thing, but some of these are different ones. I think that, that one might be the button dung beetle knight's sigil. Or maybe these are just generic background items. I'm not actually sure that they represent specific characters. Although it would have been cool to know for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Maybe? Yep, I know where I am now. Should take a quick look at these. Quick slash, mark of pride, thorns of agony. I think I'll get rid of the thorns and the glory in order to add wayward compass back on. I'm not sure I need gathering swarm for anything at this point, but waste not, want not. What's the point in having a, a rigid and highly stratified society, um, complete with aristocracy, if the gathering of uh, personal monetary worth is not... Uh, a valid occupation for your eternal existence. Uh, where the fuck am I going? Let's see. Okay, so I've got, the f I've got yeah. Okay, so it's just up and immediately to, to the left. It is, as they say, just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. I actually don't know the words to the time warp, so... I, I... It's a movement in a direction, and then also another form of movement in a different direction. Um, and then you will do it again. Wowzers! I forgot these guys were like landmines now. Here's a giant corpse. I never would have figured this out, so I've got no shame in having looked it up, but if I can find his corpse, I'm supposed to be able to dream nail it. Which is supposed to... Uh... Wait, was this always blocked off? What's on the other side? Huh. What's, hi what's hidden? What's hiding? Maybe I can only... Maybe I only can only repeat this boss before it gets all... all grody up in here. Why can I hear some? I don't. I don't think I came up here previously. I don't think I've ever been up here. Did I miss something? Would I have found something if I'd come up here before it got all infected and gross? Interesting. I've genuinely got no idea. I, th I can hear something, so there must be something here. Oh, aha. Aha. Interesting. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. That's fair. So, I mean, this is the little grub thing that crawls out of the boss after you beat him. So I guess this is the uh, final resting place of the boss. Uh, when I looked up the, the way to access repeats of boss fights, which again, I have no shame in doing because I don't think I would have figured it out otherwise, uh, it definitely said something about... Wait, have I gained 200? Oh no, that's Geo, not, not dream, dream power energy. Anyway, it said something about, like, if you die, you don't have to fuck about with a ghost, you just wake back up because it's just a dream. Because that's how dream magic works. Not that I would know, not being a dream sorcerer. Okay, not taking a zillion hits is going to be a priority on my next attempt. Something I've distinctly failed this time around. I mean, he doesn't seem that tough based on my performance two weeks ago, right? Uh, I'm just struggling to get my head in the... Uh, head in the game on this one, as my miserable performance in the arena 
evinces. Or maybe he is a tough one, I don't know. Where'd, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Alright, he might be a tough one. <laughs> Wowzers. I don't think I, I- straight up I don't think I want to fight that one. That's too many moving objects at the same time. I might be able to handle that on a different day, but just, uh, just trying to track his movement, his ranged attacks, and also the falling objects from the ceiling, uh, was already giving me eye strain, so. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I'm not, uh, jumping in on that one. Oh, hey, this guy got all, uh, grossed up. It's always fun to meet back with old friends again and see how they've uh, become corrupted by orange slime. Which I imagine is similar to the experience of discovering that a childhood friend is now a, uh, an aficionado of the Trump brand. Haha, <laughs> low hanging fruit. Right, now where the fuck else have I even got to go? I think off stream I am going to go find the last handful of uh, like pins that I don't have. Oh, I think, was there something back down in the abyss that I could get maybe? I think there was maybe somewhere down there I couldn't access previously that I could now. Hmm. But yeah, I think I'll, uh, there's, there's a couple of locations of specific pins that I haven't found yet and I don't want to scour every room of the entire game so I'm just going to look those up off stream then uh, then come back but that does leave me with the question of what I'll do now I could head back to the arena and try and beat that I don't think I recall the location of any further ghosts to fight and I'm also not sure about the locations of any other ghost bosses I think what I'll do is I'll take a quick look and pick a, uh, look up the locations of the other bosses that you can repeat, and I'll go do one of those, or attempt one of those. So I'll be right back. Alright, okay, it looks like two good options. One will be the Dung Beetle Knight, who you fight in a chamber beneath the room where you previously fought him. And the other would be way over here. You can repeat this fight with the ghost version of yourself. Uh, so... King Station is probably the easiest option if I want to jump straight over to that one, which I'm going to guess might be more achievable than the big lad. Actually, that puts me a lot closer to the Dung Beetle. Uh, perhaps it shall be Dung Beetle. But yeah, fuck it. Let's go fight the Dung Beetle. 
doesn't like to fight a dung beetle from time to time. And at the very least, I know the dung beetle likes to be fought. Why am I even bothering to wail on that guy? I don't think I ever figured out what this thing's deal was either. Part of a quest chain I've missed the other half of. giant room full of shit. Who could possibly not enjoy such a location? question is, how do I get in there? There's uh, supposed to be a thing. Horrible, lumpy interior of a cloaca vibes. Dis, as they say, gusting. I don't know how anyone ever would have found that. It didn't have a, a squibbly animation or anything. Oh, there he is. Oh, cool. He's made little statues out of... out of shit. His shit or someone else's? Uh, entirely mysterious to me. He's made a little idol of his king out of... out of turds and pipes. Would that we were also, um... generously crafty. Oh, now see, this is far more appealing. <laughs> Why can't he chill in a location like this? I literally can't remember what this guy's attacks are. Seems to be, he seems to be having a good time, so that's good for him, at least. What is it with games like Dark Souls and games inspired by Dark Souls, with having enemies who literally throw actual shit at you? any good opportunities to heal in his animation set. Or I guess this is one, provided I don't get that landing on me. So maybe I should switch it up to more more defensive thing, or more, more, more damage and then just focus on not getting hit in the first place, probably wise. He feels more manageable than the last guy though. I hope I get many, many shiny dream medallions out of his, uh, apparently prodigious ass. Hey man, how do you keep your armor so goddamn clean? Given your personal habits.
Does he say alley oop when he ho hops into the air? I take it back, I like him now. He's still gonna kill my ass though. I did actually notice the statues in the background replace, uh, re mimicking the dung statues of his lost compatriots. I didn't think to comment on it because he immediately started throwing turds at me. You're right, there is a lot to interpret here that I haven't been doing because I'm very sleepy. And also because I've hit a point with this game where I just feel, I felt like I'd completely run out of things to say and therefore I stopped saying things. In terms of like, themes and interpretation and analysis. Um, but it's not like the shit is completely absent from his dream of himself. See, the advantage of doing uh, the YouTube Let's Plays is that I can do the analysis stuff in advance and then record it over the top of boss fights. Because I do live com I do live commentary when I'm not in a boss fight, but in boss fights, I don't do the live commentary. Hey, he can't hit me here, right? Oh shit. <laughs> okay, that's an opportunity to heal that I've discovered, that's good. But yeah, no, I, d I very much take this as being a vision of the lost glory. Like, his his whole... When you first meet him, he very much has this whole kind of... Uh, noble warrior of the former, former glory of this place thing going on. Which is the... Which is, I guess, the joke of him. Because lol, lol poop, I guess? I'm not fond of lol poop. Alright, I'm going to give this one more try. What's weird is that I'm noticing a, a distinct, like, deficit in my reaction speed uh, as compared to two weeks ago. Like, I've noticed this a lot, like, when I'm editing videos and so on. But it will change quite noticeably. But I've never figured out, a, like, a consistent metric for judging whether or not I'm likely to have a good reaction speed on a given day. I just kind of have to try and see what happens. I suppose probably what would help would not be operating on four hours of sleep after having had to get up early in the morning for a hospital appointment. That's that's probably a component of it. I do struggle to figure out which ones they are myself. It would make sense if it was the the first. I think that's the first boss. Yeah. wonder how he would feel about being depicted in uh, such a fashion. Right, I'm gonna go try the other one and uh, then if uh, I don't make any progress I think I'm going to say I am probably too sleepy despite my weird brain situation where I feel cognitively impaired. Anyway, which I suppose is a lot like being sleepy but it feels different. Where do I need to go? Left, left, left. Remember, always head towards the left. In video games, in politics, in life.
The one outside the Queen's little hovel is the uh, is one of her handmaidens, which would make sense. I do I do really like the way they've just kind of implied relationships with her between a whole bunch of different individuals. Um it does it does the good Dark Souls trick of, of simply implying a whole bunch of things and letting you make letting you draw your own interpretations. But uh, a band of loyal loyal servants to uh, to nobility is a is a classical trope. The Brave Knights and Noble Ladies Squad. I haven't. I don't think I found the flower plot line, although I know. I ugh, god damn it. Although I know about its existence, it's such a mean trick to put those spikes there. But I have. I have yet to find someone who asked me to take a flower somewhere. I just know that they exist somewhere. Hey man, you good? You good? Cool. Ah, oh, I love to step on spikes. Oh, okay, so that does actually do damage down here. So I do actually need to care and be careful about not taking damage before I reach the fight zone. Which is where none of us like to dwell really in the long run. Now I found this guy pretty easy the first time around before he was a ghost. But I'm probably gonna struggle right now. Yeah, I'd call that a struggle. I'll have one or two more tries at this and I think I'll call it a night because I can literally, literally feel my brain slowing down. Get me a good night's sleep. Oh, okay, the, the double stacked spike roof. I see, they're getting really freaky with it now. Absolutely, positively must prevent any potential ability of uh, workmen to repair the roofs of this kingdom. Abs absolutely forbidden. Unacceptable. The legendary uh, iron-footed repairman of, of the kingdom of Hallownest. <laughs> Get chumped, idiot. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna cut this one short. Normally I go for two hours, but like, man, I can feel my brain slowing down. I need to go to sleep, you know? That would be, that would be a smart thing to do before streaming, maybe, would be to sleep like a, like, a, like a normal human being, except I'm a robot on an asteroid, except I'm not on an asteroid. I'm on a satellite. Man, I can't, I can't even keep my dumb theme straight. Wow, this is okay. Woof. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.